It is deeply disappointing from the government and from the minister to find ourselves here now debating over a motion to essentially fast track this legislation with no delay, no scrutiny, no debate. This is a legislation on which we were briefed by the minister only a couple of hours ago that has numerous questions and detail in respect to there was no answer from, from the minister. There are grave questions about the consequences and the far-reaching implications of this legislation. And yet you are here asking this place to fast-track it without even 24 hours to consider it. It is outrageous and incredibly undemocratic. It is an absolute parody of what this place is supposed to be about in relation to looking at what good legislation can do, having the time to consider whether it has unintended consequences. I would look at the backbenchers behind you, Minister, and I just can imagine everyone is squirming because for everyone this is uncomfortable. This is not part of the Labor policy platform. As the Leader of the Greens just said, the question of mandatory sentencing is incredibly significant. This is an incredibly important step that has to be done very carefully with a lot of scrutiny for unintended consequences. The risk in relation to domestic violence, people that are maybe through domestic violence, abuse, homelessness, find their way in a position where they could be subject to these provisions. There are so many areas that need to be looked at. For people not understanding the consequence of this legislation, this is far-reaching. This is asking people, you either cooperate with your removal or we will take action against the entire country, anyone wanting to come from that country. Now, there are, in terms of precedence for this, the minister indicated we have the UK passed similar legislation two years ago but haven't really applied it, so we have nothing to go by, or the US. So we're in a situation of completely new territory, and you are saying without proper scrutiny or debate, we should all just consider and vote on this legislation. It says something for the opposition, I should say, that they are also willing to contemplate that this debate goes forward. I haven't heard any speakers yet in relation to slowing this down. But for all the backbenchers of Labor, is this really the values you subscribe to? Is this what selling your soul to a party means? That you will not have a voice when it comes to very important debates of being able to give proper policy and legislation true scrutiny? Will you go back to your communities and say, we waved this through with a cup what is it, 40 minutes of debate, no opportunity for consultation, law societies, proper implications of this legislation to be truly considered. I have a lot of time for the minister, but I am deeply, deeply disappointed with your actions today in trying to push this through with such a short timeline. If this is such a problem, it should have been worked on for, for a long time. It's not going to only apply to those that were released as a relation, as a direct consequence of the High Court decision. This will apply to many more people that are in this kind of situation that, for whom bridging visas, uh, uh, who are here under bridging visas. We know that the previous Administrative Appeals Tribunal was incredibly bad and slow and ineffective in dealing with a lot of migration and refugee cases. And so in a situation now where you've acknowledged that as a government, we've passed administrative review tribunal legislation to have a new body in place, and yet you're implementing legislation that will capture many people that fell foul of the AAT, will be caught by this legislation. And it's just so far-reaching, it's just hard to comprehend that this is the path, and this is the legacy you as a government want to leave behind. Your legislation doesn't even include a mandatory review period. In the, in the 30 minutes spare we've had since our briefing, we've at least been able to, move some amend, to present some amendments to at least ensure there's a review process. But I'm sure the answer from government will be we haven't even had time to consider your amendments, so couldn't possibly support them. But here we are being asked to suspend standing orders and to put in place a, a, a joke of a debate. This is a, this, this is a parody of what democratic debate should look like. And shame, shame on every member of government for supporting this, for coming into this place, for doing something that is deeply, deeply undemocratic.